arrived in Washington on a late season mule deer hunt. Uh, we got in yesterday, drove last night, and got here this morning. Got here last night, got set up this morning. Uh, we got two target bucks in here, a big 3x3 three three and uh, a big 4x5. So um, it's looking pretty good. They're coming in and out of here pretty good. So the rut is uh, in full swing. So we're hoping we'll see a lot of action. I had about 8, 9, 10 in this morning. So uh, we're using our carbon air bow and uh, we got our socks going. And so we should be in a good, good, uh, good spot here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get one of these big bruisers down. So stay tuned for more Franklin Outdoors.
just seen we uh, got one of our bucks uh, to come in and uh, uh, it's the last day of the hunt. We've been in here six days trying to kill this big 3x3. Three three. He's an old buck and he came in last night when it was too dark to shoot so uh, the outfitter told me to go ahead and take one of the other target bucks that was in the area if he came in. Um, uh, a really good buck. Uh, he's a 3x4 and uh, so he was the first one in this morning and uh, we're down to the last day uh, and uh, so I decided to take that deer and uh, uh, it's been a great time. I'd like to thank Gerald at uh, Okanagan Valley Outfitters and I'd like to thank Justin, my guide, which is on his way to come and pick me up and uh, go get the deer and then uh, uh, yeah, it's been a long week. Uh, we got some snow so that helped but it's pretty tough. Uh, the big bucks are still up in the mountains and they're just starting to come down and the season ends today so um, I'd rather go home with some meat in my freezer and uh, that's exactly what I did so I'm very pleased with the hunt even though it was tough um, but uh, we got a buck down and he's a good mature buck and uh, we're just waiting on our guy to come pick us up so.